Okay, now that we have it all set up and ready to roll, it is uh, just becoming a thing we need to do to render. So the, the real thing you need to do to render is we're not gonna render a picture, we have to render an actual video now. So this may take some time. If you're in Kumeo, you just need to, you need to make sure you save this before you start doing anything else. I'm gonna make sure I save this when it's in stars and ships animation. All right, so we've got it saved, and now we're ready to go ahead and render. So I'm going to go render, um, render setup. You can also hit F10 for that. Now, there are about three or four things here that we've got to do. So the first thing we've got to do is do the active time segment, 0 to 100. That's going to tell the computer to render a video. Then you've got to go down to your render output and tell it exactly what you want to do with this output. So the first thing you want to do is let's get it in our quick access let's save it in our google drive we want to save it um in our max folder i know we'll put it in the 2a folder for now we'll call this our ship animation all right now you also want to save it as a file type if we save it as an avi it's going to be about 33 megs so that's okay so we're going to save it as a ship animation in our 2d folder this max 2020 render output no that's uh, i want to save it let me double, just double check here okay that'll, yeah that'll be fine that'll be fine that'll be fine okay yep that's fine all right cool uh do you get encoder we'll leave it like so now we're going to click render and you'll see here that it's going to render frame by frame what's going on so you should see all these things like moving around and you do so make sure you got a good view of this you want to have a nice picture of this and you'll notice that it's going to do it relatively slow you must wait for your computer to finish this this normally takes about a minute or so if you're on a weight counting machine it will take i don't know 20 seconds or something like that very very quickly and so this is something that you just have to just be patient with on uh, these virtual machines because they just are a little bit slow but they will do it all right, so if we now go to my Google Drive, let's make sure that's there. So we're in our 3ds Max folder. 2A, you need to wait before you start trying to turn it in until your, um, let's see, until it's all rendered. Um, let's see if we... See if we can watch this now. There we go. Yep. So it's a three second file. Apparently they've dropped it down. So now it's 12 megs instead of 33. That's kind of cool. So it's a little bit smaller. All right. So that's basically how you animate your ship. And then you turn this into Canvas.